We're live. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Nation of Conversation, episode 283. I am your host, Ryan, and I'm here with Bill, Mike, and Wally. What's up, fellas? What's up? Hello, hello. Wally, you look very uh, Christmassy right now. It's a very nice Christmas sweater you got on there. Red and blue. Red and blue. Where's the blue? Yeah. Oh, blue. Hey, what's up, everybody? Blue underneath. Oh, what is oh. this? We have a <laughs> oh, whoops. Turn turn your volume down when you call the show. <laughs> um, uh, th- so, like two weeks ago, I this is a very, very big side tangent or short side tangent. Uh, right after the show, I knocked an entire glass of water into my Apple keyboard, my nice. Apple wireless keyboard. Nice. And, uh, I had to get a new keyboard like the next morning before work started. Yeah. And it doesn't have volume control on it. Oh, uh, it's the worst. So I got a, it was like a $7 keyboard at Walmart. So I was like, I just have to get the cheapest thing to get by here. And that's uh, messed me up a little bit here. So, all right. Anyway, to episode 283. On this episode, we're going to talk about Triple Mania yes, and all are. of its glory. Oh, what a show. <laughs> We got some, and you know what? They announced got some, t- today the uh, pretty much as most of the lineup as they can for Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah, right. Should we make those picks tonight? Because you're not going to be here next oh, week. Yeah, morning? yeah. Oh, fuck. I <laughs> watch that one thing though. I forgot to watch Desperado versus ELP. Hiromu. No, versus oh. Hiromu. Oh, Despi was good, huh? Oh yeah. Despi. Ripped off his mask. Oh yeah, he removed his mask. Wow, on purpose. Damn. Well, after Hiromu like tore at it, he just tore it off. It was just like, what? Are you wow. Do? So, wow, wow, wow. All right. Well, we'll get. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll get to. Let's find some. We'll find the Wrestle Kingdom uh, card. Do that. I can, I can this week because you're not going to be here for a while after this week, Mike. Yeah. New the new uh, member of the nation family is coming. Yes, the newest member of the nation family. <laughs> I expect to see her as a fifth co-host yes. very soon. Uh, and she I'm, does. I, and, and of course, I named her after my favorite, my favorite NXT um, member Moon. My favorite. Io Shirai. No, NXT musician. Poppy. Poppy. Elias? Poppy. Yes. Her name is Poppy. Because wow. of course. Huge Poppy fan. It's absolutely because of <laughs> yes, that terrible band. Huge, huge, huge. Uh, terrible band. You mean excellent artist? I think she, I always enjoy her. Poppy Shotzi Defazio. Yeah, let's come up with a middle yep. name on. Let's let's make that our mission of the show. Let's That's come it, Shotzi. Shotzi. Shotzi Defazio. Let's start with the Wednesday Night Wars because I'm going to go to save Triple Mania for later. So let's start out with the Wednesday Night Wars. Start with NXT. Um, I, I like some of this stuff, and I hated yeah. stuff, as usual. Yeah, I enjoyed more than I did this time, but... Uh, let's start out with something I enjoyed. Finn Balor came out to talk about how he was going to defend the title on New Year's Evil, which is still a bad name. Did you uh, see the logo? No. Their logo work has been bad. I don't need I to saw it, but I did not pay attention like, to it. It's like a little like devil baby thing. Like you devil baby. Oh, like, new, the New Year's baby or, what, or yeah, but baby it's like a, whatever. It's like, like a, a Chucky New Year's baby. I'll I'll just look it up <laughs> and I'll show you. Uh, well, uh, he WWE does a really good job of this, and they did it here where. A, a champion comes out and says some stuff and then like 19 challengers come out. Yeah. And they've done it forever. They've done it forever to go back and look at through all the years. Um, oh, I'm looking at the logo now. Yep. With the baby? It <laughs> yep, it's bad. Oh. It looks like something that'd be tattooed on like... Uh, Wally? Yes. On Wally? On, Wally? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> on like a motorcycle, fat motorcycle ladies like oh, yeah. rear end. That's, that's terrible. <sighs> Um. Sorry. Anyway, this is one of the things that WWE does well with the multiple challengers. So Pete Dunne, Kyle O'Reilly, and Damian Priest all came out to say they're gonna they're gonna challenge for the belt uh, mm-hmm. while Finn was in the ring, and then they ended up arguing with each other 
Damien then, has no right to it. He just lost. Right. He just inserted himself in there. But we um, know where that's going. Yes. Yeah, right. Um, so, yeah. Uh, he Finn just left. Finn yes. just left the thing. Like, because you guys figure it out? I don't give a shit who I'm going to fight out of you. Just figure it out yourselves. Um, so that was fun. Uh, and they're like bickering with each other. I thought it was good. And you know um, who was very, Kyle was very funny. Yeah, so, Kyle was funny. Doing his British uh, accent. Making fun of Pete. Uh, Peter, Peter Dune. And then uh, Scarlett Bordeaux. I don't know yes. if she has a last name in NXT. Yeah, not. I don't know. No, she does not. She's Scarlett, Scarlett came out Scarlett. and confronted Finn. Like, the little face off with Finn with her uh, very uncomfortable looking uh, spike dress or whatever she was wearing. Those giant mm-hmm. spikes on it. And then uh, Finn was like, all right, whatever. You know, I'll see you around or something like that. Like, I'll, I have no problem facing Karrion Cross. And then he was gone. And then she left. Um, so I assume he's going to face Finn way down the road based on what happens later. But uh, that should be a fun match. Yeah, they, they will run into each other at some point, I'm sure. Yeah. Nice job here setting up all the different people that are all probably eventually going to challenge for the belt. I'm guessing. Yeah, truthfully. Uh, after that, it was Jake Atlas defeating Swerve Scott. I like both of these guys. And then Swerve, the only reason I put yeah, it in here this was... was Swerve didn't shake Atlas's hand, so I don't know where this is going. But I Yeah, I don't was... know if he's about to be a bad guy or... Right. Yeah, this what's going on here? Match. Yeah, yeah, but it's just like, I don't know. I feel like they're both kind of like treading right. water. And like yeah. a feud between them would just be like yeah. treading water. Sure. They are building Jake Atlas for something, but yeah, he's not going anywhere quick. Yeah. Right. He's not both going these, anywhere Both quick. these guys aren't, seems like. They're just spinning their wheels, but maybe not because of the no handshake. That's kind of why I threw it in there. Yeah. Like, is that... Um, is that actually going to mean something or not? Hopefully it does. Grizzled, your guys, Bill. Grizzled young veterans yep. won a triple threat tag match. I assume they're going to get a shot at the belts for this? I, they didn't It'll say that, be though. at New Year's Evil. Maybe, except that they're, it also is a few, they're feuding again with Imperium. So yeah. I don't know. If they pulled like a both. quick one, right? Yeah, there was... Um, they outsmarted uh, both teams, right? Yeah. Something like that. They ended up like kicking out uh, – who's the other team there? Everrise or whatever? Yes. And like then they Everize came back in to get involved again, and it was just, you know. I want to see Everrise on a takeover get a shot. That's what I want to see. I want to uh, see we're that. a long way from that. They're I want to see the jobber. Oni and Birch. Right. Oni and Birch. From uh, McAfee's group, but I feel like kind of just like just take it off them, just take it off them at New Year's Eve. We'll put it on Grizzled Young Rats. I wouldn't disagree. Might yeah. happen. Um, so that was fun, quick and fun, whatever. Then they did this this thing I didn't like this really um, bizarre War Games recap thing. Where oh yeah, talked fast, about how, I fast forward this. Did you hear some of the? About some of the things that were, no, I just fast forward all this, it's like stuff like this in NXT, like anything just useless. Yeah. Uh, whatever, it was fine. It's just a package. But Shotzi came on and was like, "You know what we did? We took care of business at at War Games." And I'm like, you "Huh? Me, baby. A what? <laughs> what business did you take board? care of? Yeah, losing, losing, cheating, and still losing. Is that the business that you meant? Having the advantage and still losing. having the advantage, cheating and still losing. That's what you took care of. Being stupid, dumb nerds. Yeah, not a fan of that. Uh, and then after that, Tony and and Io just got in a fight. Didn't have a match. Just got in a fight. Yeah, I was like, I just don't like you. <clears throat> I don't have a problem with you, but I just don't like you. How, that, I don't. It doesn't make any sense. And this week, there, this is a a big issue with NXT is, and their desperation is giving away matches that should be held off. They do it all the time. On TV is like a match like Tony versus Rhea, which could be built to a huge match because it's now you know it's the yeah. NXT UK 
how you know now the the roles are reversed you know but uh that could have happened because they de- be. they've always done this yeah. since last year it's no different yeah since they since they flipped and had to add it that extra hour they just give stuff away yeah. anyway Champa versus Cameron Grimes. He defeated him. Tim Thatcher came out and set up a chair. I didn't realize he had stitches in his ear. That's horrifying. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then one of his guys, Tyler Rust, yeah, tried to interfere, and then he was like, I had nothing to do with it. I can't believe they're still they're still they're at still it. Going. I guess I should be. I not, my my main issue is not even so much that they're still going. It's if they're going to still go. Then why are you just sacrificing Cam Cam Grimes, giving him a loss? Cameron Grimes should be holding the championship. Like you would think. Him and Ciampa fighting each other, great. I will watch that all the time. But if if that's not going to go anywhere, and it's actually just for more Thatcher, then why is it Grimes that you're using? We thought this was over too. We thought that was a blow last time, but not so. Um, whatever. Uh. The North American champion, three-time, Johnny Gargano, showed off his new stable, The Way. What a ripoff from The Mandalorian. He's obviously a Mandalorian watcher. I don't uh, – I didn't catch that, so. It's it's not – it's just The Mandalorian's catchphrase is – what is it? It's like, this, this is the way. way. This is the way. When people argue with him, he just goes, this is the way. And then they stop talking to him. Yes. Because he's a fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> who oh, won't take off his helmet Mandalorian is the dude in the helmet not Baby Yoda no Baby Yoda oh, is Baby Yoda, Baby is Yoda named does. Grogu Grogu, Grogu? Yeah. Grogu. Baby Yoda doesn't talk he's yes. a baby he can he's a 50, t- year old, 50 year old baby and he, but he can do uh, he can use uh, mind, he can mind meld yeah he can kind of mind meld he can mind meld a little bit <laughs> uh, yeah so the way this segment was sort of cool, sort of funny, and sort of awful. Yeah. The drum roll part <laughs> was so stupid. Uh, what's his name? Can't even do a drum roll. Uh, Austin Theory can't even do a drum roll. Yeah. Austin Theory. Yeah. And the I trophy. Was... Did you like the Shotzi trophy? Yeah, joke? that was pretty funny. I was very um, curious what you'd think of them actually making fun of Austin Tahiri for not being able to speak, Murray. Yeah. Well, they just speak the truth. This is the way. Uh, Indy Hartwell didn't talk, though, did she? She didn't get to talk. Um, never does. She never gets to really? talk. Uh, while that was happening, Damien Priest came out to mess it all up and got attacked by Karrion Cross because early in the night he was like, Hitting on his you got you to gotta handle your smoke man's show. business. Smoke show. Cool, dude. Yeah. That's that was her name on the indies. Smoke show? Yeah. Oh, no. is it really? Yeah. I oh, I thought he was just being a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, she was that was her nickname. Oh, and we saw more of Boa versus Z- and Boa and Zaya getting I don't think I put that in here, but boy. Yeah. Did you see I know this, ready. I know this is a spoiler and we spoiled you, Bill. So can I say it? I think so. Okay, so Karen Q is the woman. Oh, yes. you did spell that for me. Yes, you okay. did spell that. They trademarked the name for her. Did you see it? Karen Kwan. Yeah. Why would her? Why would this mystical evil creature still be named Karen? Uh, <laughs> Can someone explain to me why? A, a, uh, <laughs> like, is she going to force them to fill out TPS reports? Like, she has makeup and crazy hair, but her name is still Karen. Yeah. yeah. Why? Yeah. What a stupid thing (laughs) i'm very i am what is going on here too like they are being forced to kill bill to themselves till they bleed is that what it was yeah just having the crap kicked out of them they're just ripping off kill bill too where she has to punch the wall like as much as possible till her hand bleeds they're retraining they have training by uh murdering boa with a kendo stick yeah how else would you train? There's no way to fake that, right? There's no way. He had to get blasted with a kendo yeah. stick to put that in slow motion, right? Hey, yeah. last week they were drowning themselves, so. Well, that was obviously real. I just find it funny. If her name is actually Karen, 
I'm the mystical being that's been torturing Karen. you. It's me, Karen. <laughs> that's so stupid. Oh, I hope that's not her name. I like Karen no, Q. It is. It is. I, I'm sure it is because they trademarked it. So yeah. I just, how is that going to work? It's me, Karen. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to say about that segment. Nope. So Karen cross attack Damian Priest. They're going to have a match. He, Karen's going to kill him. And mm-hmm. then face Finn. Yeah, That's and we'll to Finn eventually. For some reason, Pete Dunn and Killian Dane had a match. Apparently, they've been fighting for weeks. I, I, don't, I didn't know. Uh, they, no, they haven't been fighting. Or like getting each other's faces or something? When they first got this group of McAfee's together, That's Dane right. like got in their way and they sl- they smashed his head in a car door. That's Pete right. Dunn like um, kicked a car door into his head. So okay. he's real mad about that. Mm-hmm. So they had a match. Pete Dunn won. Yeah, it was good. Know. It was yeah. fine. Fine. No, let's stay here. It's Raquel. nice to see uh, Killing Dane being good again and not just following Drake Maverick around. Yes. Wasn't Drake there, though? Drake was. Drake yeah. was around, yeah. wasn't he? He was around because they were a tag team. But... Um, yeah, fine. Raquel, your girl, Bill. Getting a Maybe uh, we're Maybe talking about enter. our upcoming award show. Whenever that will actually air, we don't know yet, but Raquel might be most improved. I think that's yeah. a, li- a line on there. Um, she certainly has impressed me from I was making fun of her in March to now she's main eventing NXT. So good for her. Mm-hmm. She defeated the nerd Ember Moon. Yes. <laughs> who ha- apparently is done. <laughs> that whole thing. Yeah. She's beat, her uh, clean. beat her clean. Right. Mm-hmm. Crushed her. Um, Getting her ready for her match against Io. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Build her right. up to to lay her back down but mm-hmm. it's poor ember had all that business about being a hacker slash motorcycle rider slash whatever else and now she's just losing yeah well then she got on the mic being... and said this is gonna sound corny and then she proceeded to sound really corny yeah. so. yes <laughs> they gave her a live mic and she <laughs> exploded her career yeah. uh, sort of anyway raquel got the win Rhea Ripley came down to save Ember Moon from getting beat up from Tony Storm again because Tony Storm attacked her. Um, but mostly all I cared about was Tony Storm's cool jacket, with like 19 patterns sewed into it. Yes. Nice jacket. It's always very fashionable. Good jacket. So Rhea's going to face Tony and this week. Yeah. Then Raquel will face EO at e- NXT Evil or whatever the fuck it's called. New Year's Evil. Probably. New Year's Evil. Not New Year's Day, but New Year's Evil still. Almost a week later, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, mostly a good show, except for the weird, yeah, couple of weird parts. But I mostly, mostly enjoyed it, show. though. I enjoyed it. Mostly a good show. Uh, let's move to AEW. We started with an excellent match. Just great. Young Bucks and the Hybrid 2. These guys have been wrestling each other for years, and they just yeah. put on... Basically, a kick ass PWG tag team match. Who's hybrid <laughs> yes. again? On Helico and Jack, Jack Evans. Evans. Right. Um, so that match was very, very good. Great. I like when they start with these hot matches. So, yeah, uh, that was show, good. Show always starts well when it starts. Like um, apparently, this segment drew over a million viewers. Um, so, people were super into this. After the match, Young Bucks got the win. You claim, yeah. Have we talked who, about them yet? Are the dudes from uh, Creator Pro? Um, a couple dudes from a bunch of people from Creator Pro have been. Are signed. these Devon's oh, yeah. kids, Ryan? These, nope. <laughs> these are not Devon's kids. Uh, these these guys are like John Cena rappers. Uh, the one, the one guy is. Yeah. Uh, what's his uh, name? Why would they decide to go back to that? Forget his name. I don't know. He's Max? like a, Max uh, Smash. No, Max Caster. Yes. Max Caster is the rapper. Uh, I forget the other guy's name. Um, so they atta- they try to attack the Young Bucks, but then SCU protected the Young Bucks and chased them away. So not quite sure who the Acclaim is going to face next, but and it, we haven't really seen them do very much. They just interrupted the Bucks and then tried to... I think they're interf- facing the Bucks this week. Is it this week? Okay. I think so. So that'll be fun. Um, but that was a great segment. Followed by Sting and Cody Rhodes. Sting came out. And uh, I like this segment a lot. Because Cody was like, 
can't wait to talk to you. And Sting was like, I'm not here for you. I'm here for other some, some other reason. But I'm not going to tell you what it is. And then at the end, he's like patted Cody on the shoulders like, see you around, kid. Like an yeah. old like Western kind of thing. Like I, I Cody wants nothing to, but to be with Sting, and and Sting's like I, I don't I'm not, I don't care about you right now. So I don't know what he's gonna do. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, Darby was watching in the right in the stands. I assume he's, he's going gonna... to fight the Four Horsemen. What do you mean you don't know what Sting's gonna do? There is and no then, Four Horsemen. And then there's half of a Four Horsemen. There's two of them. There's two. The two horsemen. He's gonna fight them. You don't think Mongo's waiting for the call? Here oh. comes Mongo. What I'd get. Co- Cody will step into the Ric Flair role. Uh, oh, you think he'll he'll be Ric Flair against Sting? No one could pull it off like Rick did. <laughs> That's true. Turning on him, I That's think true. like two, maybe three times. <laughs> right. So I like that segment. Thought it was good. It was a good segment. We'll see what happens. Sting, not, it was. It was very, not wrestling yet, so yeah. good. Very interesting sting. A uh, very kind of laid back, chill sting, like just like going with the yeah. flow type of sting. Not like yeah. Uh, but I don't think you want to. Yeah, you know, he's he has. It is like, weird to be like completely silent, pointing a bat at people, and then the next week be like, Tony, give me a hug. Yes, yes, yes. That's kind of weird, but um. I like that he lo- he's like, oh, I like Tony, but then he went to Cody and was like, let's get serious now. Yeah. Let's get a little yeah. bit serious now. I'm not dealing with you. Yep. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, FTR finally showed back up after their mm-hmm. big loss and beat up the Varsity Blondes, who are a tag team you hate, Mike. Or you hate the name. I can't remember. That, like, it just screams completely unimaginative. It they screams were, they're trying to be WCW. Yeah weren't, they, yeah, weren't they doing the um the camera thing that uh were they? Yeah, at one point they were. Who did that? Was that the Hollywood Blondes? Right? Ho- yeah, they were doing the Hollywood Blondes camera thing at one point. The thing is, is neither has even the slightest bit of charisma that that either it's guy. Hard, hard to compare yourself to the two most charismatic wrestlers of 1997 but i feel like even pillman is like i feel like pillman's already like kind of reached his potential and it's just like yeah you're you're fine right right there <laughs> like being I, like it's like guy. a dark competitor slash job yeah <laughs> yeah i feel like wow. that's his, that's his why have i heard of griff garrison they're making fun of him or something they thought he was jungle boy that was his oh, big right. role for uh, him. I, I could see that he looks and like jungle boy griff is good griff is good <laughs> <laughs> it's like a beefier jungle boy. Yeah. Yeah. Thick. But he Thick still boy. needs to add like 30 more pads. <sighs> Both of them are small. Yeah. A uh, very fun segment after that. Hangman in the bar looking for drinking whiskey, looking for a, a team to face. Who, who's he facing? I, I don't even remember. He's got to face somebody. So, yeah. He needs a team. And uh, the Dark Order guys are behind the bar wearing tiny cowboy hats. And they're like, we'll team with you cowboy and he's like i really don't have any friends at this point so yeah i guess i guess i'll team with you guys and they got all excited and then this led to a very funny bit on uh did you see this uh bt no they did like a funny continuation of it where they corner him again later in the night and they're like we need to go over the match and he's like i don't want to talk to you just show up and we'll have the match and they're like just five minutes just five minutes and they're wearing the funny cowboy hats again and they're like, just come into the dark order room real quick and we'll just go over the match. And he's like, I don't want to go in that creepy room. I'm like, just come in. And he goes, fine. All right. Five minutes. And he goes in the room and the entire dark order is in there wearing cowboy outfits. Yeah. And like, come in and ride our horse. And the one big guy from dark order is wearing a horse head. And, and Hangman gets on top of him and rides the horse. And then they ended up fighting each other and doing a fake like finger gun fight with all of each other and then hangman shoots them all and they all die <laughs> and then he goes to leave and he's like okay that was fun thanks for inviting me in <laughs> like oh great we did a great job and then was he Mr. leaves Mr. Brody part of this too no he wasn't there he's still uh, not uh he's, he's gone around. yeah but he's got he's got a legit injury so they so he leaves and they're like wow that was great and Eva Luna goes did anybody ask him to join dark order 
<laughs> and like, shit, we knew we forgot something. It was a very funny, very funny segment. They're facing uh, Matt Hardy and Private Party next. Week. Okay, so that'll be fun. Dustin Rhodes had a match, which was not important, but then Evil Uno came out to try oh, to recruit this him, is good. This and is then good. was like, "Listen, like you're not a valued member of the Nightmare Family. You're old. Just come work for us, the Dark Order. You can be the seventh member. Yes, you could be seven. Yeah, which, <laughs> which he was so a good. character in WCW called Seven, which was for awful. What? Thirty, 30 seconds. seconds. <laughs> The quickest, the quickest gimmick flip of all time. He walks out of seven, gets on the mic, is like, "This gimmick's stupid." <laughs> you just showed up. Like, I really hope he leaves. It's so funny. Oh, I so really funny. hope he does. Does he have a big hat and a white, yeah, like, face yes. mask? Yes. It's supposed to be like a creepy what? gold dust style character, and yeah, and then in the first promo where he like floats out to the ring and they use all this stuff in typical WCW fashion, he's like, "This gimmick sucks. I'm just gonna be Dustin." <laughs> just <laughs> just threw all the stuff down. It's essentially if Gold Dust was trying to be Undertaker. <laughs> oh, it's so yeah. funny. Oh boy, I'm looking uh, at him now. A hilarious segment if you haven't seen <laughs> yeah. it. So funny. Uh, Tony Schiavone. Now we go to the bad. Very bad. Tony Schiavone sits down and has an interview with Shaq and Brandy Rose. Ugh. Let Why me Shaq? count. Oh. Let me count the fucks I give about this awful segment. Oh Zero. my god, Zero. it makes no sense. So Jade Cargill, yes. person we've never seen, comes out and confronts Cody Rhodes and says he's going to face Shaq on behalf of Shaq. Right for Shaq, yes. intent making me think Shaq is a bad guy here. And yeah. Jade Cargill Welcome is back. Shack. Okay, so then Brandy Rose comes out, and a lot of people enjoyed that segment. I don't know, you didn't, Mike, where she yelled at Cargill. And then like, next week, Jade Cargill, who works for Shaq, yes, used a chair to break Brandy Rose's arm and put it in yes. a sling. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. So now we do the sit down and try doing it again to Big somebody Soul else. Yeah. This week, and that that's that's going to lead to a weird tag match. Yes. Anyway. So this Shaq employee did all this stuff. So now we get to the interview, and Shaq's like, listen, man, I don't condone what Jay did or whatever. And Brandy's acting like a heel, and Brandy threw yes. water in Shaq's face Yes. Uh, at the end of the interview. Bad segment. Just so bad. What is the point bad. of Shaq? But Shaq is going to wrestle Cody. Yeah. Why? Because did TNT. Du- because did TNT. Dusty wrestled... Carl Malone or something? Because what part TNT. of WCW is he recreating? I don't know. TNT. This is TNT. Shaq wrestled in WCW, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Oh, he did? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he most Where definitely he wrestled. Wrestle? He most definitely wrestled in, in WCW. I think he wrestled the Giant or somebody. I yes, forget now. he most definitely. He definitely wrestled in like 1995 in, in WCW. Yes. Absolutely. That happened. Anyway, this segment sucked. Uh, bad. I'm not looking forward to any of this. It was stupid. No. Following up with that. How, the many, inter- how many things does does Cody have going right now? Like 18 storylines. I know. And that he still comes out of the middle he of need- the fucking Because he's the centerpiece of the show. That's the thing that drives me crazy. Is like, <laughs> Who's better in AEW? Name 12. Go. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh-huh. He positions himself in this. Like it seems forced it seems so forced a la roman reigns like except for it's not roman pushing himself yeah (laughs) right cody pushing himself it's weird right and i get it like now he's he seems like very like knowledgeable like okay i've got to be on arrow i've got to get on a reality Comp- competition show like all this stuff but like if i asked like if you asked someone like who like if you asked your sister well we all have sisters if we any of us asked our sisters who cody rhodes is nobody would know they'd be like no nope. but i feel like they'd maybe know they would know john cena sure Probably. chance yeah. they'd maybe know I mean, cody's gonna be on that reality show so he may get to a point where people more people know him. he needs but to be yeah. the bachelor if this is what he wants but it yeah. seems like but he's married so that's an issue. so forced uh all right moving on 
inner circle talk about breaking up and then kind of yell at each other. And Sammy Guevara was like, listen, cause you're, cause you're my hero, Chris. I'll, I'll give it one last shot. And it says, uh, if you screw us again, MJF, I'm quitting. Oh, which was great. Which was great. Yeah, that that was fun. good. And this then was great. You know why? Because Jericho goes, all right. That part. thing ever. Yeah. Hey, we watched dynamite last week. We saw what you did. Yeah. A revelation. He's like, yeah. He's like, Sammy started like him and hawing about the towel. And he's like, stop, Sammy. I know you didn't do it. I watched the show. Yeah. <laughs> Which was just like, a, it was like a revelation in wrestling. Like, like so wait, nice somebody paid attention to the television <laughs> product that was filmed and didn't believe yes. just what happened by the heels. Like, so, uh, so nice that, to hear. That was funny. Uh, and then I really laugh when the two big guys, like Jake Hagar, who I, I normally I normally hate, but I like when he got on the mic and just looked at Wardlow. I was like, "Why are you looking at me so weird?" And just had like a weird <laughs> big guy. <laughs> I and like. Oh, like, okay, weird. I like Wardlow, but Hager is just like. Oh, Hager is just the worst. But I enjoyed the segment. Shit. I is, made me are laugh. Him and Jericho still gonna get the tag titles? No, no, probably not anytime soon. I I don't think so, but. This, that made me laugh, and then they did a a two sweet with middle fingers, <laughs> kind yeah. of, to uh, ensure that they're gonna stay together. So there's like that. like at each other. No, yeah, like like, like uh, lights of the round table kind of thing. Let's click our swords. Boop. Yeah. Like uh, Eddie Kingston, the Butcher and the Blade. A oh, man versus uh, Lance Archer and the Lucha Bros. Where the hell is Pac? Yeah. Why is Pac not in this match? What happened to I, Death Triangle? I have no clue where Pac went. He disappeared. Did he walk back over to Japan for something? Maybe. He may have. Hopefully he doesn't have the thing, but that would have I don't know what else it could be. Like why is he we would have heard about it. Yeah, but why is he gone? What happened? Anyway, uh who won that one? Butcher and Blade and Eddie Kingston won, right? Well, yeah, it was interesting because Butcher Penta, or Blade actually got the pin because Penta went to the back, right? Penta I've went been to the you. back early. Yeah. But then in the show, you know, I think it was just because he may have been hurt. It was just like, just in case, I think for the... I read a story today that said it was writing him off for a while kind of a thing. But, but then, but then later, as we'll see in Triple Mania, yeah, he wrestled a fucking match. He so fine. I don't know. But again, also disappeared in that match. But we'll talk but about that in a minute. Yeah. yeah, so bizarre. Anyway, after that, Abaddon squashed somebody and scared. What's uh, Karoshita again? We'll see. Yeah. Uh, bad. A couple of bad things in a row. Uh, or I guess. Two or three bad things. Uh, Kenny Omega, great thing, showed up in a fucking helicopter with Don Callis. Right, yes. <laughs> and they came out and basically cut almost the exact same promo that they cut on Impact. This, I, you know what? While watching this, I realized, like, oh, this was all filmed out of sequence. And it took me out of it because that show was filmed. So Dynamite last week was filmed. The third two shows, day. yeah, that was filmed before they went Impact. to Impact. So and then they went to Impact. So it's just like a lot of wires crossing. It just it did it. It felt like the same exact like uh, promo, but then it was just like, but it's yeah. But which is the promo? <laughs> it was just like I, I don't, don't know. know. The only thing I enjoyed about it was the Don going. Hey Tony Khan, welcome to the wrestling business, kid. Yes, you get oh. screwed in the wrestling business. Should we talk? I guess we could talk. Yeah, about here, it. here. Let's talk about Impact. Yeah, because uh, yeah, it wasn't that good. Uh, Docker. Yeah, not Are you great. Expecting it to be good. Not well, great. The, the thing is, if you're gonna have all these new eyes on it, like you'd expect, like. It was basically the same show they always do. <laughs> yeah, you'd expect to pull out all the stops, guys. And uh, yeah, it wasn't that. It wasn't that. It I was weird. Asleep. I fell asleep. Also, like some of the choices, like yeah. I love 
I love Deanna Prazo as women's mm-hmm. champ. I love uh, Paige in the North and all those, but the North broke up on the show. Well, so. because he's on his way out. Yeah, Ethan's going to WWE or wherever he's going. He's I would, he's got to go to AEW. I don't think so. <laughs> Ethan Page. Yeah. yeah. He'll Good get stuck in. Uh, I think PC. he's going to WWE. Good luck with that. Uh. Anyway. Yeah, that show wasn't that good. I didn't think it was that good. No, I don't, but the two I interesting know. things were Tony Khan, Khan bought that adverti- advertising Which was so funny. Which Way was too funny. long. Far too long. But uh, the last part was great when uh, he said the yes. thing, Tony, because it was him and Tony. And he's like, hey, Tony, you work for TNA, right? And Tony <laughs> goes, yeah, for one day. <laughs> then I quit the wrestling business for 18 years. <laughs> it was literally heel Tony. Yeah, Bill Shivani, where he came with like bleach blonde hair. Yeah, it's like yeah, I worked there one day and quit the wrestling business for eighteen more years. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, but, but that's then, that was far too long of a a promo. They probably bought like, two, uh, they put a, like a two minute. Yeah, it was like two and a half two, minutes. It was like it's a crazy. two minute advertisement. Uh, I was, was wondering, I was wondering about the bus and them actually being in Nashville. So it's like, I wonder if they were just driving around in Florida and like, because Carl Anderson lives in Florida. There's no reason he couldn't wear his yeah. his stuff to the bus and like doesn't, like they didn't do anything in the impact zone or whatever the fuck it's no, called. No, which I think he, was he, a he, big detriment. Yeah, it was a mess. It was a misfire, yes. which makes me think they didn't actually go there. Right. Because right. they cut a bunch of promos on this bus. Who was the and first one? It oh, was right. Josh Matthews, and there's no, like, it's totally possible Josh Matthews lives in Florida. And they or just, just, they sent him down there. Yeah, right. I don't think that he went to Nashville. Like, I don't think that happened. But whatever. It happened. Uh, and then the main event of Dynamite was MJF beating Orange Cassidy for the ring mm-hmm. with Miro interference, which... Yeah. Match was good. Ring do? Yeah, Nothing. it doesn't do anything. It's just a prize. It's like oh, a belt. It's just a ring. She he uses it to hit people with it and yes. win matches. Uh, I'm getting tired of this. Like, do something or move on, Miro. Like, yeah, I'm getting real tired of this. Stop interfering in best friends matches. Time um, to flip or shut up. Yeah. So mostly a good show. A couple of misfires. Both shows are pretty good. Yeah, but, but yeah, the impact thing is. Yeah. The Don interview the don promo in impact was terrific laid out everything really right. well the invisible kenny, hand kenny's comic book collecting thing <sighs> like okay i get it you're trying to make it like like your own thing but like yeah okay but that's kenny um yeah and then they did set up some stuff like there's a possibility of because uh, what's his name wanted to go see him? Uh, Rich Swan wanted to go, but right. they said Impact no. Impact champion Rich Swan wanted to go see him, but they said no. And you know what? I kind of don't want to see Rich Swan versus Kenny. You know who I do want to see, and they could have done it this week, was I would love to see Chris Bay versus Kenny. Sure. <laughs> Which they could have set up. Um, but who knows what they're playing and I'm doing. But Bay yeah. doesn't have a title. Yes. Bay, well, he lost. He lost in the pay per view, though. Yes, final resolution. Still lost. Yes. Uh, all right. Yeah. So let's move on. Uh, Keith Lee. Big story. What the hell is going on in WWE? Keith Lee, among others, sent down to the Performance Center for wrestling training because he's not good enough at wrestling, according to Vince McMahon. This ha- I was gonna ask. This is a Vince McMahon thing, right? A hundred percent. Because hundred percent. Our, our good lord HHH knows he can wrestle just fine. Well, Vince supposedly threw a hissy fit. That's how it was written. <laughs> pissed that none of the big men like can work. Keith Lee, um, Otis, Dabo Kato. Um, what did you say? Uh, the who was Dabo Kato? Baba Tunde. Baba Tunde. Um, yeah, some other guys. Wow, like, but not Braun. Like, like mostly like they're newer big guys. 
he didn't like the way they were they played. So they sent him down to the performance center to take classes every Tuesday and Thursday. But it's funny because what if what what's what's the performance center for then? What Didn't is, they already train these guys? Yeah, what Dio Madden or whatever his name is has yes, been in Dio. the system for like ten years. Yes. How did he not learn how to work as a big guy? Yeah. They Keith Lee just handed away a belt when he left NXT because that's how highly regarded he was. They didn't even make him give it up. The Keith Lee thing is absolutely <sighs> insane. Yeah. It's like, so stupid. I guess like there were some guys they thought were unsafe and so yeah, but like but what like the Keith Lee. Keith Lee. No, they did the, uh, Keith, I think it was like Otis and like someone else. They didn't like the couple spots where they thought they were unsafe. <sighs> but like the Keith Lee is just like that right there tells you everything you need to know about Vince and his mental state. How this company is just falling apart. Like, I get it where, like, okay, you don't want him to wrestle like Ricochet, but, like... Last year, he was, like, a monster, yeah. supposedly, in the Royal Rumble, which I didn't agree with that he was an awesome monster in it. But he, didn't he knock out Lesnar? No, he did not. Who did He did something. Yeah, he went face to face with Lesnar. Oh, face to face Lesnar. So we went from that to he needs to learn how to work. Supposedly, he slotted in in a triple threat for WrestleMania with him. Not now. Drew and Goldberg. No way. Not Goldberg. Oh, God, um, him, why? Drew, no. and Lesnar. No way. That's not That's Supposedly, the, the still ma- the matches as of I don't know maybe last week maybe before this were Roman versus Goldberg. Blech. Oh my um, god. Nope. Edge versus Orton again. Nope. No. Nope. And <sighs> then um yeah, that that three way. Anyway, let's move on. Uh oh wait, sorry. I had one more point to bring up. You think Keith Lee is sabotaging himself so he can get back to NXT? <laughs> okay. Uh rest in peace to Tiny Lister. We lost him. We yeah. lost him. we lost yeah. Tiny. We lost Zeus. Zeus. We lost yeah. Zeus. I feel like we're going to spend a lot more time talking about Zeus in the next episode when, uh, where he was the uh, featured the character. The president of the United States. Yeah, president of like the world. Yes. Oh, right. Sorry. President of the world. President of, of space. Federation. Federation, yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah, president a- of space. Uh, so, yeah, we lost him. Very sad. Only 62 yes. years old, too. Very yeah. sad. Yeah. Uh, we talked about Omega on Impact. He was on Impact's pay-per-view in the bus. And yep. at the same time, wrestling on Triple Mania. So <laughs> yes. that's kind of weird. And he, um, the only person he talked to was... Uh, he talked to Carl Anderson. Carl Anderson, yes. Right. Which also makes machine me think gun. it's a Florida thing. Yes. But uh, he wanted Machine Gun to be... He wanted him to Asian. squash Ethan Page. And he did not. Right. I don't think he did. No, but, but uh, Ethan did lose. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and then this is funny to me. WWE is upset and has heat with Snoop Dogg for going on AEW because <laughs> they own they own Snoop Dogg apparently. Well, and the thing is, is they just like a month or two ago during the Undertaker's whole thing, they had right put they out made the Snoop Dogg shirts, Snoop Dogg and Undertaker shirts. I don't know what the connection is there, but they made there them. isn't. There isn't. They made Snoop Dogg Undertaker shirts, and there are. They are literally pulled down that night. They're pulled from <sighs> the WWE shop that night. Sasha's next. She's gonna get fired. I think Snoop Dogg gives a flying fuck about any Zero of this. Yeah. <laughs> How it like read the tea leaves, guys? He's yeah. on the damn fucking show that Cody's on. Of course, he's gonna be on M- on AEW. So AEW announced like three shows, right? They, they have one where Snoop Dogg's going to be on, yeah. But they announced like two holiday shows or something. I right, it's like a holiday mayhem one and two. Yes, there's a show that's on at like ten o'clock after the basketball game. On right, because like, the season begins yeah. soon. So I don't know. It begins next week for basketball. Anyway, Snoop Dogg, you got heat with WWE. Look oh, out! Man. That oh, means yeah. we can watch Pitch Perfect too. Because Snoop Dogg's in Pitch Perfect too. Is that where they're on a boat? I don't remember. I think that's three. Hmm. I saw one of them. I like one. I saw I like a decent movie. 
I saw yeah. half of one. I was just like, yeah, I'll throw it's, in the top. It's a, it's I don't a really different. remember the second one. Second one's weird, right? It's got like Clay Matthews in it and the Green right. Bay Packers offensive line thing. Yep. Cool. And that's the only thing I remember about that. Anyway, Bill, it's time for a segment to be named later. You got anything? I have something different this time. Ooh, After now? Wally's terrible movie, I thought we could play a, a, just a quick game. Oh, game. If, uh, so, Mike, you want to give me a game show music? <laughs> We're gonna play the Ed Wood game. Ed Wood game, yeah. I'm gonna give you guys. I'm gonna give you one at a time a title. Oh no! And this will be a work that Ed Wood had, was connected to, wrote, directed, acted, and whatever. And I need you to tell me if it was a regular movie, pornographic movie, or a book that he wrote, because he did all of those things. <laughs> oh. Ready? Shoot. Yes. Yeah. Who's going first? I'll go first. All right, Mike. See, I'm going to start you with a tricky one. Oh. Jailbait. <laughs> Is Jailbait a regular movie, a pornographic movie, or a book? I'm going to say a book. Ooh, I'm sorry. It's actually just a regular movie. Uh, There's some weird stuff apparently in it, but it's just a regular movie. I knew it wasn't going to be a porno. You can't yeah. make a porno yeah. with that name. You can't. Oh <laughs> my Even god! Now you can't make a porno with that name. You got to remember, he's making some old pornos, but <laughs> these um, are 1959 pornos. While he's up, I'll go. Okay. Uh, let's go with nighttime Les. Nighttime Les. L E Z. My. <laughs> it can't, but I, I'm going to say it's a porno. Unfortunately, that's a book he wrote. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, there were a lot of things that he wrote as a book and then it, they turned into terrible movies, but I didn't include any of those as far okay. as I know. Okay. Uh, Ryan, what about. The Sinister Urge. Oh, sounds a lot like a porno. Yeah. But you've you've already done a movie, so I'm gonna go porno. Ah, that's a regular movie. Oh, really? I thought for sure there'd be a porno. No, it sounds yeah. like a porno to me. What about uh, who was that, Mike? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Have we gotten? We haven't gotten anything right yet. No, we have not. The Love Feast. <sighs> Then say porno. That's uh, in fact, the softcore porno. <laughs> there it is. Hey, there it is. we got one. Got it. The Ed Wood game. Wally. <laughs> yeah. Take it out in trade. Take it out oh. in trade. Sorry, the first part sounds like a porno. Yeah. Tricky. <laughs> uh book. I'm sorry, that's also a porn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Ed Wood game. Fuck. Uh, oh. Ryan? Parisian Passions. Again, sounds like a porno. I'm going to go book, though. In fact, that's a book. Well done. Oh, oh. we're tied. Crap. Uh, let's see. A tiebreaker between me and Ryan while you're out. I got, you're one, out I got one more for each of you if we want. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the Young Marrieds. This is for Mike? Yep. That's hey, a, Mike. That's a movie. It is a pornographic movie. What? <laughs> <laughs> so then, I guess to break the tie, I'll go to you next, Ryan. And then I have one more for you while just for fun. Okay. Okay. I see how it is. Well, you. All right, fine. You want to get back in it? Yep. He could tie. If okay, I get it wrong, Wally tie. could tie. All right. Wally, the bride and the beast. Who's this for, Wally or me? Uh, Wally. Let's see if okay. we can get back in it. The bride and the beast? Yes. That's going to be a regular movie. It sure is. Wow. Yes. <laughs> oh, he's on the board. So this is the last one, Ryan, for all the marbles. Okay. <clears throat> Bloodiest sex crimes of history. <laughs> oh, that's an easy one. That's an easy. I'm gonna say book. It's in fact his foray into nonfiction. 
<laughs> it is a book. Like a book. Wow. It's Ryan a book. <laughs> Damn. These are just a sampling of the multitude of things that Ed Wood created. He did a lot of things. He did sure did a lot of things. He did a lot, and they are all weird. Okay. Now it's officially time for Triple Mania. What a show. A lot of things happening, a lot of moving parts, a lot of confusion if you don't speak Spanish. Oh. Uh, I'm going to start with Hugo Savinovich, yes. your announcer, who, who did pulling? this double duty. Double yeah. duty. Good for Hugo. He did a great job. Yeah. A great job mixing in the English and the Spanish and being Even like, though it, yeah. You know, he missed a lot. He still missed yeah. a lot. Still missed a lot. But I give him the, credit for like trying to keep the English people like tied in. He did a good he did a lot more than the Omega match, that's for sure, because he mm-hmm. knew that was gonna be one that people were tuning in for. Yep. But every once yeah, he, in a while he gave up in the last match. He didn't even bother. <laughs> Well, I mean, we'll get to why, what happened to him. But, uh, yeah, he did a great job, actually, like being like, just real quick, this, these guys like hardcore or something like that. Like in the last match, he like dropped that and like, yeah, okay, well, good, great. I get it. All right. We made picks. We it's going to be weird. It's going to be weird. Lots of lone wolves. Carta Bravia Jr. I'm going to mess up a lot of names. Moco Cota Jr. And not the real Tito Santana. Different Tito Santana defeated, sadly, Maximo Iguana and the Nino Ambergesas. No, Nino Ambergesas wasn't in this match. Oh, why is it listed? He was replaced by someone else. Anyway, Mr. Iguana lost. That's most important. And was like, see, Dynastia was the Yeah, Dynastia. Which, anyway, I would take my pick back, I think, if I didn't have Nino Elmer Gacy. But... Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Good point. Okay. Sure. So, See, these guys, I've seen these guys before the po- Poder. The po- North or whatever they're called. Because they, 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 okay. they wear like fatigues and like can- camo and like uh, vests, vests. Tactical yeah. vests. Anyway, they won. Not a lot to say here. Good opener. Crazy. Silly. Willie. Yeah, so, so, Willie. I don't know what am I talking about. Uh, yeah, how do we pick that one? We started off with our full, first lone wolf of the night, one Wally Foley. Wow, <laughs> points Big for start. Wally. Big start. Lucha Bros defeated Mysticus Junior, Octagon Junior, and Ray Escorpion. And Tejano. Jr. And Tejano Junior. Oh right, and Tejano Los Jr. Mercenarios. It was a um, triple. Triple tag team match? Yes. Triple threat tag team match. Um, Lucha Bros, like we said, Pentagon Jr. was hurt, hit with a baseball bat with a chain around it in the leg. Mm. Disappeared for a while, came back, kicked somebody in the face with that leg, Mm -hmm. and then Lucha Bros won. Yes. So is he hurt? Is he not hurt? We don't know. Bill, did you notice, or Ryan, when you watched it, whenever you did, um, the the doctor who had come out in like a white yes, lab coat. Yes, yes. He <laughs> yes. came out. The doctor in the white lab coat came out to check on Pentagon and try to stop him from getting yes. back in. Yes, that was funny. We've seen them before on other triple manias, right? Doesn't the I, lab maybe. coat doctor come out? Yes. Oh, yeah. Is that Mr. Iguana behind you? No, this is Kane as the Christmas tree in uh, Smoky Mountain. Oh, my goodness. All right. <laughs> but he was a like a giant Christmas tree guy. Because, uh, you know, wrestling's real and you got to have realism, right, Jimmy yeah. Cornette? There's a fucking Christmas tree in your promotion. Uh, <laughs> what a piece of shit he is. Anyway, Luch Bros won. How do we pick it? Uh, that was chosen correctly by Mike and myself. Oh, boy. Uh, lady, that, start, that, that was another fun match, another crazy match. Yeah, it was good. Phoenixes oh. and Mysticis and Octagon Jr. are really good. Mysticis is... What's his face, right? I think he's maybe Sin Cara. Is he Sin Cara? Because I thought he was. He looked like him. He looked like him. Yeah, he uh, Mr. Sis Jr. I uh, think he's Sin Cara. Previously known as Angelical. Uh son of Apostle no. Jr. and brother brother of Bandito. So oh. yeah, he's not. He's not so um, no, not him. All right. Well, he kind of looked like him. Anyway. Uh, there was a Royal Rumble. We didn't know, but there was yeah. a Royal Rumble. We did all pick people from half of the roster, uh, apparently. Lady Shiny got the win. I mean, uh, nothing really much to say here, but 
Uh, there's shiny. one thing to say here. You got that one. It was truly got a lone wolf on her. Ah, uh, two points wow. for two more points for Bill. Yeah. Um, wow. I did enjoy their countdown clock that exploded. Yes, <laughs> between entrance, that was fun. This match was kind of a hot mess. Yeah, yeah it wasn't so, very good. I skipped through yeah. a lot of it. Fast forwarded through a lot of it. Uh, well, match I was very invested in was the clown posse or whatever they're called. Lowe's the Psycho cl- cl- Circus. Psycho Circus. Monster, Psycho, and Murder Clown facing La Parca, the original. Ejo de La Parca, his son. And for some reason, Blue, Blue Demon Jr. Mm-hmm. Who I now hate. Because La Parca's, Team La Parca father and son could have won this match if it wasn't for blue demon jr interrupting yep. the count yeah to to pin himself the little yeah ball. that mm. did, did they it. destroy him with the chair no because he kept oh. screwing them over and yep. they ended up losing the match the hell who took the pen uh, i believe uh son of la Parca did yes yes okay, yeah yeah, well, young guys. Yeah, yeah. As he yep, should. Makes sense. And this uh, was um. This had some crazy spots. Yeah, I laughed so very hard at the end when Laparka and when the old man fight between Laparka yes. and Blue Demon Junior, where they pushed themselves into the barricades. Yes, <laughs> it was very silly. Uh, it made me laugh. And then I think Blue Demon Junior just fell down to the ground. Yes, <laughs> Laparka's Laparka. Love him, but man, is he a big guy? He is so big. He's a large He's man. Huge with all that padding on him, too. Um, yeah, very disappointed. Stupid clowns. Stupid clowns. How do we pick it? We uh we all, all got swept it. incorrectly. <laughs> we all got it wrong because La Parka's our favorite wrestler. Ooh. And also uh, apparently La Parka did not go into the hall of fame. Yeah, like we quick it was. uh quick hey. update. La Parka, the person who passed away, went to the Hall of Fame. Uh yes. yeah, we messed that up bad. Big mess up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good for good for him. Good move. His picture was all over the like side of the yes. arena, too. Yep. But yeah, not not I hope Blue D Moan Jr. gets his mask taken off for this. Oh, they're leading to a La Par- L.A. Park versus Blue Demon Jr. Yeah, let's get his mask off. Come on. Okay, Blue yeah. Demon Jr. won last Triple Mania's main event of Dr. Wagner. Dr. Wagner Jr. Yeah, he unmasked yes. Dr. Wagner. Yes. Well, it's time for Blue Demon Jr. to get on mask, guys. Come on. All right. Um, oh, this is the Marvel, Marvel match. match. The Marvel what, match. Uh, which... <laughs> Purple Terror. <laughs> Purple Terror Purpura. Is that how you yeah. say that? Yeah. Sure. Venonide, who is Venom, defeated Arachneo and Lanada Americana mm-hmm. in Marvel Lucha Libre. Yep. Now, this was fun, but could have been way more fun. They did not put enough into this. I the don't thing think. is, is once you found it, once like it was just like, oh, that's Brian Cage. And he's doing all of Brian Cage's moves. Oh, I, I wondered know. if I just because I didn't recognize him necessarily as his moves, but I was like, I bet you I've seen this all before. Leo Rush did all of his moves when when he did the thing where he bounced off the rope yep. into the stunner. I'm like, oh, okay, I've yep. seen that. <laughs> did, did the fog splash, did all that stuff for you. Just and then Daga is Captain America, and Daga is not good. Yeah, that's actually not flat bad. out. Yeah. not a good wrestler. Not that he was wearing a Mr. America or a Captain America sweatsuit. Yes. Oh. Okay, so um, fucking Leo Rush wrestled in a goddamn sweatshirt. Yeah. Oof. How the hell do you do that? That's got to be very sweaty. It's got to be awful. Anyway. But I'm guessing fucking this Thanos match, wins. <laughs> this match is it for us. So I'm guessing, I know it's not. But... And the thing is, is this match, if there was a like people there, like. I'm guessing the kids would go ape shit for it. Piss break. Yeah. I was thinking I feel piss like break. Kids would go crazy for this match. Because that's why. Because this is the thing is, is triple A paid Marvel money. Marvel's not coming to them. Yeah, not right. a chance. Yeah. Marvel went to, uh, AAA went to them and be like, let us license these characters, just like you do in like a video game or something. Or, you know, and like or like, uh, what's it Considering called? Considering they like did that, game? they did not use, they did not put enough effort into 
<laughs> no. no. Like, why well, did Thanos not have the glove? I mean, Cage has he had a, a belt, glove, but he had the belt. He has the glove from Lucha Underground still, That's probably. Right. Why didn't he just bring that with him? Anyway, well, Bill, you got this right. Solo, another uh, long. I sure belt. did. You this guys is just all thought fa- Captain America just was going to win. Phase We're not in America. Yeah, Bill is killing Bill's us tonight. Destroying. Uh, Kenny Omega versus Laredo Kid in the AAA Mega Championship match, which is a good match. Yeah, it was real good. Was um, really good. For some reason, Michael Nakazawa showed up as Kenny's He's the second. He needed some interference guy. He needed someone for because El Vikino, uh, oh, El Vikino, was, okay. Vikino was going to show up so they could do all their moves. El Vikino apparently is going to challenge Omega oh, next. That dude should be he should be a America. top guy right he should be a top guy in america right now i feel like I, we saw him last year like like run and just like jump up onto the top rope like yeah. not onto the turnbuckle just jump up and stand on the rope itself or something crazy the guy's crazy crazy and i think he's just coming back from injury that's why he wasn't in, on the card so but hey. And Fun Michael match. Nakazawa can catch a dude. I'll give him credit for that. Oh, no, he couldn't. <laughs> he did at one point. He did not catch Kenny. Yeah, he didn't catch oh, Kenny. Kenny that no, he did not catch Kenny. He dropped Kenny right on the floor. Ooh. His own guy. Yeah. He caught El Vikino just fine, though. Yeah. Did not catch Kenny. Caught it. Did not catch a tope calling hello. He just hit the ground. Um, this, was a, this was a very good match. And Kenny won. Yeah. With the kid was pretty good, too. Um, the second rope, yeah, one wing angel. Oh, yeah. yeah, there was times for sure I thought Kenny was gonna lose. They I had, was, if I think he was three, gonna tap that one move, I wasn't like that because it was yes, not on I very thought well. He was gonna, I thought but, he was gonna tap, but it was not hooked on very well, so that would have been dumb. But. The three of us thought Kenny would lose, one man did not, right? One man, yeah. Michael DeFazio, a lone wolf, Kenny Omega. Good <laughs> damn, what a gift. <laughs> What a, what a yeah. present. We just wrapped that for you. We sure did. Here's Kenny Omega. He's all Here, yours. Have a Kenny yeah. Omega two-point lone wall. Just enjoy this. Uh, and then finally, your main event. Pagano defeated Chessman. That's right. Chessman oh. in a hair versus hair match. What a man. Uh, which was wacky. It Super was wacky. Wacky. Yeah. Sometimes it was incredibly violent. Sometimes it was not very violent at all. <laughs> yeah. Um, I missed this one. I went to bed. Uh, and I missed this one. And I watched the triple AAA, whatever it is, YouTube recap, like highlight version. And there's one part where they're having a fight and, you know, cookie sheets or whatever. And the then same cookie sheet throughout the entire match. <laughs> and then they fast forwarded it at one point. And the, the next clip, it was like some random stuff's going on. Nothing bad, but the next clip is Pagano on top of on the top rope with a ladder that looked like he went through a meat grinder. Oh yeah. my god. Shards of ladder. Yeah. <laughs> Sharded ladder jumping off on chess man with it. So scary. Like, Very oh dangerous. Oh my god. There were other ladders. They just kept using that one. Yeah, yeah. like most fucked up ladder. Um, there was some there was some moments where it was just like ee. there was that where chess man dived through the ropes. Oh, on the chair flipped tower. His, flipped his feet and hit the chair tower face first. Oh god. I wanted to like I'm like you guys don't do this. You're putting a guy in the Hall of Fame who passed away yeah. from doing this move. Kinda, Why yeah. are you doing this move still? He does a tope suicida into a tower of chairs head first. Yeah, it was which crazy. the call is, in, was it made it, yeah, I hope he's all right but the call was like the cabeza the cabeza so the guy's doing these moves by the way Pagano is 34 so not young but certainly right. not an old man he can do this stuff and is kind of in his prime probably still yeah yeah how old do you believe chessman is same thing you think 50 he's got to be like 60 he's got to be old a spry 45 years old oh, okay cool. so he is kind of spry <laughs> <laughs> Then the weirdest stuff happens at the end when they start fighting over to this random truck. It's no. not a truck. It's like a whole like it's a whole like separate set. Yeah, like a dumpster set. Like, yeah, like a like, like a like a Walking Dead looking set. Yes, a truck yes. there. So they start fighting over that corner, and that's where the announce table is. And for some reason, why is there a guitar? P- Pagano <laughs> picks up a guitar, which has nothing to do with this feud, I don't think. Turns like he looks like he's gonna hit Chessman with it, turns around and blasts Hugo Semenovich with it. 
Poor Hugo. The announcer. Poor Hugo. For no reason. So we get like eight minutes zoomed in on a bladed, <laughs> a blading Hugo Semenovich announcer. The so first good. ever announcer blade, as far as I'm aware. I know of. When he <laughs> came back up after laying there with his hands in his face, with, <laughs> with, with, I was like, oh, yes, so perfect. Why is this I happening? Like he's like bleach blonde hair now and his like sparkly suit. Yeah. I honestly didn't know that that was Hugo. Yeah. Just because Hugo. he looks so different than what I remember yeah. him as. He was on WWF for so long, his Spanish announce guy. Running away from the table every time yeah. it exploded. Yeah. Oh my god. Was this or doing funny? the silly like flop like Ooh. Yeah, the dead <laughs> flop. <laughs> the dead flop. Um, so of course he, he had to one, take a bump. He was also the one who gave all of that info about what was going on with the Saudi plane. Oh really? Uh, he was the one getting all like the info. Oh. He was a this, part of the Saudi plane thing? He wasn't he was a there? part of it, but he was talking to people who were on it. Mm. And they all like and yeah, yeah. They like filtered their stuff through him. Yes. What a guy. Oh my god, what a funny segment. And then finally, who cares who wins this match at this point? What a silly match. They climb on top of something, some structure, and jump off through a table into a bed of a truck. Yes. Yep. And then Pagano beats chess man. Yep. Which apparently this is false count anywhere because he pinned him yep. in the back of a truck. And then uh, violently shaved his head. Yes. Well, so <laughs> this is my favorite. Well, my two, my favorite and least favorite part of the night was the med staff comes out because he's so yep. injured. They have to put him on the board, <clears throat> tie him down to the board. Oh, man. And then cart him out to the ring and dump him in the ring so he can get his hair cut. <laughs> and then, uh, my least favorite part actually felt bad for the woman they made come out. His daughter. Hold his, that was his daughter? Yes. That was his his bloody, oh. greasy like hard to cut because it's so gross hair. She was struggling because it was so disgusting. It was his daughter and his father did like the first few. And then he like took a chunk of hair and threw it at Pagano. Yep. It was very. Uh, Oh my God. They tried to use the buzz thing and it wouldn't work because it was too wet. But I noticed they had it like plugged in somewhere like they had to run a cord for this stupid thing god forbid yeah. you buy one with batteries <laughs> the battery one doesn't work i've heard that before oh my god battery ones don't work you need the real like hair clippers eh, well it didn't work when you put baby so oil in your hair then you sweat then you bleed right into your head in your hair yeah. and then and like you you're gonna s- cut your hair and then you're like screaming and rolling around yeah you're stuff. moving I love hair versus hair matches, though. Wow, so those are the best. It's Although the best. we didn't say that's on the show yet, but uh, Pagano really doesn't have any hair. He's got like yeah. one fucking ponytail. If he had lost, it would have been like, boop, you're done. <laughs> Not embarrassing at all, actually. You just have one strand of hair on top of your head. Anyway, that was... Uh, oh, we forgot to talk about Cap- Captain Marvel, who came out and saved oh, uh, yeah. saved everybody in the, oh, yeah. uh, in the Thanos match. But anyway, I believe Mike picked this right. Uh, two people did. <clears throat> Mike and Wally. Mike and Wally. Yeah. Oh, Ryan. <coughs> well, here's how we ended up. Slaughter. Oh, Once again, oh, I won this time with five out of the seven. Okay. Uh, Mike ended up with four points. Why with three? And yes, Ryan, you ended up with a total of zero out of seven points. Wow. <laughs> you got skunked oh. in Mexico. <laughs> wow. So you're telling oh, me it's dude. a bad idea to pick Mr. Iguana, a Scorpion, <laughs> uh, La Parca, whatever. Uh, Nino Ambergesa. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> yeah, chess man. Match. You're telling me those are bad picks. Wow. So in the fight oh, for man. the very competitive fight for third place, Mike has now pulled one back ahead of Wally. Yeah. But Wally, not only are you back to fourth, you are only three, four points out of second place, though. <laughs> After my terrible Ryan has come back to you guys. I fall into the basement. Bill is towering above us now with two awesome shows. Very far ahead of you guys at this point. Wow. Uh, Not uncatchable, but getting there. All right, let's do the Wrestle Kingdom. Oh, yeah. Do we have Wrestle Kingdom? Yep. yep, Do these real quick. Uh, Don't do any of the dumb matches. Just do the big ones. You don't want to pick the five on five on five on five. We can do those off 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 air, but just pick pick the big ones. January 4th. These are just right. It's two days. this is what's been announced so far. So okay. it's uh, uh, Takahashi versus El Fantasmo. Takahashi won. You want Super Juniors? 
Super Juniors Fantasma and El won. Fantasma won the other um, America's Super J Cup. And then whoever wins this will go on to face Ishimori the next day. So I'm going to say... It's going to be Takahashi Taka. and then Taka. Taka Taka. 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 It's Taka. definitely going to be Hiromu. And then what was the second night? Hiromu Ishimori, new bone, bone soldier. soldier. Yeah. Versus, uh, versus whoever wins that first night. Give me two Takas. Yeah. Definitely Taka night one. Yeah. Yeah, he's getting Mr. Belt back. I agree. Yeah. Me too, Taka. Sweep it for double for two nights. Sweep it, Takahashi. Takahashi. The old sweep, sweep. <laughs> okay, that's um, a double sweep. Yeah, yeah, sounds like it. Tanahashi versus the Great Okan. <sighs> Come on, Tanahashi. I thought his name was Great Okan. I'm going the Great Okan. <laughs> Who's Great Okan? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna go <laughs> Tana. Come it's on, gonna be Tana. the Great. It's gonna be the great Okan. That's weird. I will take the great Okan as well. You just don't want Mike to have a lone wolf. That's why he did that. You exactly. bastard. <laughs> That's um, exactly why he did that. IWGP Tag Team Championship. Zach the Techers. Zack Saber Tai Chi versus Gorillas of Destiny. Give me Gorillas. Give me G.O.D. Molly, you go. I have it for like the 80th time. No, I'm going to say Dangerous Techers keep it. Hmm. I also think the Techers are going to keep it. Oh. I go Gorillas of Destiny. Okay. That was just done so that Wally couldn't get a lone wall. <laughs> this is just pot. This posturing. It's way too early for this. There's still a few more months before WrestleMania. No, we go January to January, don't we? No, we go to WrestleMania. No, we go WrestleMania oh. to WrestleMania. <laughs> Calm down, you guys. Calm down. We still got months to go. Okay. Um, Okada versus Osprey. This is hard. What, Osprey. What is Okada's current wrestling gear? He does not have pants. He's wearing yeah. shorts? shorts? He's wearing shorts. Okada. Not the, he's not wearing the... Um, the regular Okada shorts. He's wearing the, the briefs. Yeah. Oh. Okay. What colors his hair? Blonde. It's blonde, I think. I think. Okada. Sticking with Okada. Okay. I'm going to go Osprey. I'm going I went Osprey. Oh, I can't let Phil have a lone wolf with Okada. You can. Don't do it. Uh, but I, too, think Osprey is going to win. Yes. You guys at at Wrestle Kingdom just gave me Okada Lone Wolf. Thank you. Oh, that's bad. He's definitely going to pull away now. All right. Naito. So first night, double championship, Naito versus Abushi, And then the next night, that person will face Jay White. Oh, I forgot time. about how this is mm. dumbly set up. Dumb reason. I Sucks. have to pick God. Yeah, I'm picking Abushi. I have to pick Abushi. I'm picking Abushi Abushi. I'm picking a bushy bushy. I'm picking a bushy bushy. He's got. Uh, it. Wally, you're you're gonna pick bushy bushy. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take <laughs> <laughs> I will take. Oh fuck! I'll take a bushy and then. Oh, do I want you? No, we'll go with a bushy twice. Wow, oh, a double wow. sweep again. So Nido can win night one and just mess up this whole thing. Oh yeah. Yep. yep. Uh, I mean, I mean he's Naito. There's a chance that that really does happen. There's a very good chance. And yeah. so two more matches uh, that are the next night, night two, never open weight championship, Shingo versus Jeff Cobb, which I feel like Who I cares? like. Je- I like Jeff, but I would have rather had um, Suzuki or Ishii there. Ishii's got to be on here. Somewhere. So he's it's not going gonna... to get like a. F- Don't get me started. Yeah. It's going to be Shingo. Shingo. Yeah, Shingo. Jeff Cobb. Oh, there wow. he is. Hey, I, I take my I, lone wolf somewhere. I wouldn't. Wow. Da- I wouldn't doubt it. it. It really that would not be a big surprise. He's um, in Osprey's group, right? Oh, that's true. That'd be a that'd be a big weekend for them. And then Evil versus Sonata. This is hard for me because I know what I want to happen and I know what I think is going to happen. Evil, give same. me everything is evil. Okay. I'm going to go Sonata. 
Phil, does you pick? So Kenta no. doesn't have a match on Wrestle Kingdom either. As bad as of right now. Wow. So I think right Evil's gonna win, but on hope, I'm going to say Sonata is all cleaned up and spiffy looking for Wrestle Kingdom, and he gets the win. So I will pick officially Sonata, but I think I'm wrong. And I'll you will you'll know as soon as he comes out. So who's got who now? I have evil. Bill has Sonata. Mike has Sonata. Mike has Sonata. Yeah, I'll take evil with you. Okay. Is that it? That's it. All right. Well, you have any top fives this week? Yeah. Top five big mouth characters. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Number five is Rick, the old hormone monster. Very funny. Uh, he's very funny. Number four is Lola. Yeah, uh, she's the, the, the British one girl. No, oh, no, yes. No. oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Why do I always forget the name? Number three is Connie, the female hormone monster. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Number two is Maury, the male ho- hormone monster. Mm-hmm. Very good. Yeah. And number one is Coach Steve. Oh, Coach Steve is so good. <laughs> Coach Steve is very good. Today, wow, bus this... driver, Coach Steve. <laughs> this is the rare Wally gets a perfect top five is that what happened here maybe, maybe. i mean you, you could know. argue for jason manzoukas's character yeah, i suppose jay, jay he could you yeah, could right but there. i can't say any of those are necessarily wrong oh wow <laughs> it is just a big, it's a very solid show it is like, it's, it's a, hard it's hard to pick a, a wrong it's answer there it's a great show you did it wally you have done it does that mean the segment's over you have to retire it sure He's, he's <laughs> going to be down to 1% now. He doesn't have five things to talk about. Did we ever come up with a good n- middle name for Mike's daughter? Oh, I forgot. I thought we stuck with Poppy, it... Shotzi. Poppy, Shotzi? Yeah, Poppy Shotzi. Poppy Shotzi. Poppy Shotzi. Poppy Shotzi. Poppy Ishii. No, Poppy Pitbull. Ishii. Poppy Pitbull. Poppy Pitbull. Oh, Poppy Pitbull. That's definitely what she, we're going to call Poppy her. Poppy Pitbull. Sounds good. There you go. We've got it. We've got it all set. You know exactly what's put on that birth certificate now. There you go. You. All right. That's over. Next up, what's the movie again? The Fifth Element. Fifth Element. Fifth Element. Right, right. Fifth Element. What a weirdo movie this is. I, I remember I, it being weird. I did not know it was this weird. Oh, I like my. That. Is it I weird? I like this movie. It's good. It's watchable. It's fine. It's not as good as I remember, but it's still watchable. It's not great. It's watchable, though. Yes. It's watchable. Yeah. All right, that's next. Fifth Element with uh, President of the Universe, Tiny Lister. 